What's up everybody welcome back so pretty much today I received uh, some new parts for the uh, Eclipse which is right here I know I haven't been making videos I've been trying to gather up some stuff that we need to go ahead and um, get this uh, car up and running uh, so pretty much um what i ended up needing was the intercooler piping which i already received we do have the front mount intercooler um i also need to weld the wastegate to the manifold and we have to make an exhaust um my plan is to have a side exit and i wanted to make it a teardrop so Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that. I think it'll look cool. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys. On this video, pretty much what I'm going to show you guys is um, how we're going to go ahead and mock up the intercooler piping. And obviously, we're going to have to modify this a universal kit for this car. I'm going to route it how I want. Um, and here is the uh, intercooler piping. Ooh. Sorry guys, I couldn't uh, wait to unbox all this stuff, so I did it without you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I promise next video, I'll go ahead and unbox all the other parts that I get with you guys. So pretty much, I ended up going with a 3 inch uh, intercooler piping. Um, I could have gone with a smaller one, maybe like a 2.5. I didn't need to have this big of a piping, but I ended up doing it because my intercooler outlets are three inch. So I just wanted to keep it all three inch. The only thing I will need is a downsize from a three inch, maybe to a two inch, I'm guessing for my intake. Um, <clears throat> the turbo, I believe might be a three inch. I'm not sure. I would have to go ahead and Check that one out. It might probably be a two inch or two and a half. So I did get the uh, intercooler piping bare, no coating. The reason why we did that is because we're gonna go ahead and cut it and we're gonna get it re-welded. The reason why I'm getting it welded is because I wanna have um, as minimal leaks as I possibly can. So the only places that there might be a leak would be like for example, if I have a piping that curves all the way to the back, I, I have U's, so I know I won't have an issue with the U right here. But when it comes in through here, I might have to make a, uh, I might have to use a coupler, coupler right here. So usually the couplers are usually the weak points if you're going with the boost because the couplers could pop off. Um, I don't know, maybe they could rip. So my plan is get the piping, make it come out through here. This side doesn't have a coupler. The intercooler um outlets are gonna have couplers the turbo is gonna have a coupler and i'm gonna try to have the minimal as as minimal as i can on couplers uh to use so that i know that you know if i have a boost leak i know where to look for and i don't have to be looking all over the place for a boost leak now what we have to do is uh i think i'm actually gonna mount the intercooler right now so we got the intercooler in the, in the front already. And what I ended up doing is I ended up getting an intercooler that's coated all black. All right, so right here we got the <clears throat> intercooler. We're gonna put on some gloves. <clears throat> I 
I don't know why I have a feeling that's gonna be way too low. <laughs> so I'm wondering if we flip the intercooler over, we could probably go ahead and raise this. Okay, so it did raise it up a bit. <clears throat> We're almost flush right here with the subframe. Yeah, that's way better. <clears throat> All right, now let's go get the use. Okay, so now that um, we kind of neatly organized this right here, I mean, it's not the best, it's not tucked, but uh, at least it's not all over the place right here, you know what I mean? So now what I'm gonna do is one thing that I haven't put on since I finished building the engine was this EGR delete. Uh, pretty much, um, I did the EGR delete because we don't need the exhaust gases going back into the intake. You don't want that. The whole point of having performance is to get as much airflow in that is cool into your engine so that you got a good mixture with your fuel so it could spark. Now, the way the EGR valve works, it's emissions things in California. I don't know if it's in other states. I know it's here. There's a pipe that goes out. This part goes down this way, it goes into the intake. And pretty much what, the, what it does is getting the, the um, exhaust fumes and it's recirculating them back into your intake and the reason why it does that is obviously your intake is going to go back into your cylinders and the same thing you're reburning the exhaust fumes you already have burnt but i guess if you have any type of residue then it'll burn it again <laughs> but um yeah we don't want that because what you're doing is you're actually getting the hot hot exhaust fumes from your engine getting them back into your intake, then it just messes everything up. So you don't want that. And now obviously we have to block it off. Why? Because this right here is part of the exhaust side. You're gonna have hot air coming out of here. Eventually it's gonna heat up so much. You're gonna heat up your engine. You're gonna burn things, you know what I mean? See, when I would warm it up just to leave it running, it already started melting these right here. You see that? So that's what we don't want. Okay, so we have the EGR block off plate right here. And let's go ahead and put this on. So we got that done. Um, now what we got to do is uh, mock up the piping. Okay, so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the pipe right here so we can have one straight. And then I need to cut wherever I'm gonna have it at because it's gonna churn, but I want it to kind of be right here in the center. All right, so pretty much right here is where I'm gonna end up cutting this pipe.
if I get this one, it goes right here. And then um, I get the rest of that straight and make it go all the way down and use a 90 degree coupler. And I think I'll be good. All right, so let's see how this comes out now. We got this part right here, this one right here. Let's see. In my opinion, it looks a lot better now. We got that raised. And got this right here. Let's see, let's tape these two together. I have another question for you guys also um do you guys want to see like the whole process everything i do when i make these videos or do you guys just want me to cut the boring stuff out in my opinion the boring stuff is when i have to go cut work um get tools little things like that and just uh show you guys um the progress or would you guys rather have me show um, a little bit of everything that I do getting tools cutting or whatever I do on the videos and the progress Let me know down in the comments below The reason why I ask is because uh, I know some people like seeing everything some people don't So like me, I'm the type of guy that I do want to see how it's done Because that'll also help me whenever I want to do stuff but um yeah, just go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you guys, what you guys think. So let's see. If I get this pipe, obviously I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna cut it like about right here. All right. So let's see where we have that thing to help us hold this in place. Right here, I'll get this one. Put it up here. Bam. It should be like this. And now. We just have this. It's coming along perfect now. Better than before. All right. So this is what we did. Goes all the way down. Taped it up right there. Everywhere where there's blue tape, that's where it's gonna be welded. So we're in a one, two three welds but at least we have one piece one in the cooler piece so that thing fit perfect man look at that now the only thing is I think I'm having my blow valve over here um, but yeah so we got this one done now we're gonna go down this side it's gonna curve this way another U we're gonna have one coming down the turbo down this way all right so as you guys can see it's taking me a really long time to get this piping done so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video into two two uh parts pretty much we have the upper um intercooler piping done from the intake side and now we gotta finish the piping that goes down from to the inner cooler so as you guys can see I kind of mocked this one up right here I am gonna have to cut that part and I'm gonna have to cut part of the inside part you see how I have that bend right there we need that bend so I don't hit the um, drain plug on the radiator and I also need to leave some space down here 
because I am going to make the exhaust come out the side. I am going to have a cutout side exit. So, on the second part of the video, we're going to go ahead and work on this side. So we could finish this part up. And this one we already have done. I already have it up there. So we're almost done. But it is taking me a while. I don't want to make the video too long for you guys. Hopefully we get this piping done on the next one. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.